During these large aftershocks, the Earth belched up immense quantities of sand and debris from unusual gaping fissures in the ground. Geologists call these strange geysers sand blows. So we're talking about a lot of sand being blown up through the face of the Earth, sometimes 100 feet high. And of course, it's bringing up whatever is down there. These sand volcanoes are the result of soil liquefaction. As the shaking, saturated Earth compacts, pressure builds up until a vent or fissure is forced open. This brings the watery sand mixture blasting to the surface. These things can be 15, 20 feet deep. You can still see evidence uh, of these sand blows throughout the boot heel region of Missouri and down into the northeastern Arkansas. Well, this is a famous rock, and everybody tries to analyze it. I'm still working on it. I have been for three years. Uh, but anyway, I, I believe, my, here's my interpretation, that this is two separate events. That first clip I put showing the tilted layers, those were already there. Uh, obviously, they formed laying down flat. And then they got tilted up, just like Frenchman is tilted up. Okay, and they, they were only partially lithified. Even now they're not fully lithified. Okay, then this came later. And so I interpret this like a, a flood channel where this mud and these boulders came down. These, these, uh, these rocks are pre-Cambrian. There's no limestone mixed in there. So I think this is a late horse spring formation. Um, and the Precambrian stuff uh, comes from where the Frenchman mountain block originated. It landslided down onto the back of it. Because this, this material has been identified as that's where it comes from. That's how they know Frenchman mountain traveled 40 miles. So that's what this material is. It's because it got spilled down onto the top of the block uh, during, from when it broke loose and started moving, and during it. Okay, so that's what that material is there for. Uh, this, this same material is uh, on the top of that thing, and also uh, across the, the highway two or three hundred yards beyond. This material, I think, traveled a short distance. So as Frenchman Mountain, this block, was tilting more and more, that this, this flowed down a short distance. It doesn't have limestone in it, so it wasn't like a major flow down from the uh, from the limestone. It doesn't, it doesn't have any limestone in it. So therefore, I think the, the angled material I first showed was lithifying flat, but it was also, then it began to tilt up like the Frenchman block is. Okay, and then this came later, so this is pretty recent. This, this is pretty recent. This, this came down a channel and ripped loose some of those tilted things that I showed at the start. And there they are. That is the same material as that. 
so this this has to be a, a channel where this stuff it didn't travel very far and it just used available material including this stuff here which was mixed in and up on the top it, it is up there if you go up and hike around up on top this stuff is laying around on the surface that's what I think at this time Okay, the pictures that follow, I walk down uh, two or three hundred feet and along the other side. So, what I propose is that obviously this, this mud flow, possibly from an earthquake during the continued uptilt of Frenchman Mountain. in this block that either by uh, ground liquefaction or whatever this stuff didn't flow very far um, and when it did it came down an existing channel and so I believe that existing channel is probably from the known fault that's there so there's no questioning this is a, a mud flow to begin with so the existing channel I propose is that uh, which has no boulders and stuff in it and so I think flows already were coming down here but less energy and then something catastrophic happens and very possibly an earthquake and uh, a mudslide and that this material blasted down. Um, on, on the pictures that follow, uh, note that uh, the, the muddy, not really lithified material that was in this channel I propose are actually tilted. They were actually drooping into the uh, the existing channel either recently or back then but this this clearly this this huge wash here is based on uh, an existing channel and that's that's what this is it's a channel I'd be standing we're like right now I'd be standing right in the middle of the, the channel that it came down this is the best example right here the, this isn't a mud flow that came down from the mountains. This material hardly moved. That um, it looks like available material, like that stuff there, didn't move more than 20, 30 feet, and that it was more like ground liquefaction. Uh, very possibly, I don't know. I wasn't here, but see, there's the the bottom of the channel. Whatever existed at the time, it's there. There it is. There's none of the stones or anything in there and here's the stuff from right over there behind my back that it barely moved so this this material here being uh, homogenous it, it could be that everything got shook and uh, like ground liquefaction and this material collapsed in and down a little bit in the, the existing whatever it was <laughs> So there you go. That's my opinion at this time. Next year it'll probably change.
see this Frenchman mountain block traveled 40 miles. So you, you see those like lake deposits and stuff that flooded down and then uh, sat there kind of level. So those are among the same lakes that were, that were over there or big lake that was over by Anniversary Mine. So this block I'm standing on in Rainbow Gardens uh, recreational area had stuff washing down onto it and lakes and all kinds of stuff as it traveled by as it traveled by so in other words this this stuff doesn't mean that there was a lake in this location <laughs> Those, <clears throat> see those cobbles and that conglomerate mixed in? That was a flood, and that, that's limestone in there. But that limestone did not come from Frenchman Mountain just back behind my back. It came from the Muddy Mountains. See, now that's the next up tilt. I don't know what the name of it is. Each of these ridges have names. But uh, anyway, that's obviously Rainbow Gardens member conglomerate, first, uh, first base layer of horse spring formation. And I, I don't need to go up there and inspect it. First of all, I already knew what it was. And second of all, there it is. So this didn't coat the land from Frenchman Mountain itself. It coated it from the overthrust. The muddy mountains and uh, the other over overthrust that was along this area, but see this washed down onto this this block as it traveled. By the way, this <clears throat> these uh, this Rainbow Gardens uh, layer is the thickest of all the Horse Spring Formation, the Rainbow Gardens layer. It's the thickest right here in on the back side of Frenchman Mountain. And, that, and that's probably because the, the valleys from the overthrust trend north and south and so they were out washing onto here as this rode by. But they don't, they don't know every finest detail, keep that in mind. So anyway, here's a good point I don't want to miss. Okay, that's the first layer. That's the first layer that washed down upon the uh, eroded surface that was there at the time, which is uh, Triassic. In other words, if you go further west, climb over this ridge or go around it and go west, then you drop down, you're in, in Triassic. Okay, so that's the first layer that washed down, Rainbow Gardens member. Okay, well that means this was next. This is the material that that washed down next. And that was the material that washed down next. So you're looking at the very start of the horse spring formation. The very first layers. And then that came next. And then that came next. And now that ridge, you go to more modern times, if you cross over it and go back to where I filmed the boulder and the mud flow, you, you walk across the, the surface and you're getting newer and newer and newer until you reach where the, the stone was with the mud flow. And that is among the final uh, members of the uh, horse spring formation. So see, from there to there you're going more and more modern. <clears throat> 